Hey everyone, it's your boy JShots here, and today I'm flying at you with some gameplay and commentary, and the gameplay that you do see here in the background, it just me playing some Battlefield 3 gameplay here, and if you're wondering why am I talking about Battlefield 3 if I'm doing a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 subject, and the reason behind that is because I didn't have enough time to record, so I do apologize for this reason, I'm just trying to make this commentary quick and sweet, so I do hope you all enjoy this video here, and nevertheless, let's go right into the commentary. So for my commentary subject today is UMG Atlanta. So if you're wondering what is UMG Atlanta, UMG Atlanta is a land event which has the best of the best Call of Duty Black Ops 2 players competing against each other for $10,000. So this is a really small event. It doesn't have that much money compared to other events such as MOG, um, G Affinity, the Call of Duty Championships. But this is just like a little small major event which a lot of teams are going to. And a lot of people were asking where was Optic during this time. So if you don't know Optic, Optic, the most well-liked Call of Duty Black Ops 2 team, has went on vacation. Their anchor Merc went on vacation to go to his brother's wedding, so they couldn't attend that tournament. But definitely, if Optic went there, they would be competing hard, and we would all love them. We'll all show them some support. And I want to give you guys some little highlights on what happened on UMG Atlanta, but some news that happened first. So Karma joins MVS, we all knew that, and MVS did perform pretty well, but they did get knocked off by Karma's old team, which changed from Impact to Epsilon, so Epsilon, uh, which features Parasite, Killa, Miracles, and now John, they faced off against uh, Team MVS, and it ended up winning in um, the loser bracket quarterfinals, so that was definitely a heartbreaking loss for Team MVS after going for some revenge, and Karma definitely definitely wants to beat them so bad but they try their hardest and that's all that matters in the end and also if you want to know who was playing in the bracket in the 4v4 tournament i'll link in the description below as well so i do hope you all find that information useful if you want to know what teams were there specifically but i'll tell you guys what was happening there during um championships sundays and also in the saturday tournament no i think it was a friday tournament in the friday tournament there was a 2v2 um, tournament in S and D, and the winners of that were Explosion, uh, Parasite, and Complexity Crim6. So they teamed up against each other. They teamed up with each other actually, and they ended up winning uh, ten thousand, one thousand dollars. My bad, one thousand dollars for each person. So definitely, that's just a little more cash added. And now I'm just gonna give you guys what was happening there on Championship Sunday. So in the loser bracket, um. Semi-finals, it was Merkin Gaming, which was definitely an underdog team, was versing Epsilon. So Epsilon versus Merkin Gaming, this was an entertaining match. This went up to um, Game 5, I think, so out of the best of 5 series, but Game 5, so it was 2-2 two -two tie. And Epsilon did win the SMD, and that was definitely a heartbreaking loss for Merkin Gaming. Uh, Merkin Gaming definitely deserved that title, though, of the underdogs, because they did really, really well. And definitely Epsilon with more experience, they had trouble handling Merkin Gaming, so definitely um, give uh, much respect to Merkin Gaming. I, I like them, I support them right now, and I'm definitely a fan of them. And Epsilon, they moved on to the loser bracket finals, which is facing uh, TK. So TK definitely is a team, uh, Neslo, Sharp, Gunjar, and I think it's Theory, I'm not too sure, don't correct me on that. But there was a lot of hype going on against this match because there was a lot of things that were happening during this match. I was definitely excited to watch this. And TK ended up beating Epsilon in a, in the game 5 of SND. And that was um, definitely something that I was really, really excited for because Epsilon, Epsilon definitely the most hated um, team in Black Ops 2. But I definitely have a lot of respect for them because they do perform well. And they have been finishing second and first. Remember that they did a 3 P in um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 when they're impact. So definitely that was really, really uh, well deserving of them. Now they're starting to lower down the hype now. And TK definitely has a new team of uh, pro gamers. They go on and face Complexity. So Complexity, they knocked out TK in the winner bracket finals. And now they're facing them again in the championship finals. And how would they perform? So they ended up losing to Complexity. Complexity won for the 3P and they did really, really well. They have been doing really well of lately. Ever since picking up Placer, definitely has given them uh, more of an opportunity to perform well because if I feel like that Clayster, if he wasn't on that team, they wouldn't have won because Clayster brings a lot of things. He brings a slaying power of an anchor. 
uh, which is really really rare rare like only epsilon um parasite and um i feel like complexity uh placer i feel like they're the only two players that bring that slaying power as an anchor and also Clayster definitely gives a lot of hype to the team. Clayster is very, very hype as a person. He gives them a lot of motivation, gives them a happy mood. Even when they're down, he's still gonna pump up their guys just to make sure that they won't be depressed. So that's why I feel like that Clayster definitely has been the biggest move on the team. Uh, probably one of the best moves I've ever seen in uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And definitely with Clayster now, he's gonna be a dangerous, dangerous player. So much respect to uh, Complexity for giving their three peat, and they could go for the four peat in um, November, which is gonna be the last Call of Duty Black Ops 2 tournament before going into Ghost. So I do hope you all enjoyed this video with the comments here. Uh, hope you found my information uh, useful. And if you want some things on what was happening there on UMG Atlanta, um, link it in all in the description below uh, their website, Esports Nation, etc. So I do hope you all enjoyed this video here. See you guys. Later, J Shot's flying out. Peace.